Well, it's August and Christmas is it's right here. <laughs> right around the corner. It's right around the corner, which means it's the perfect time to evaluate your finances and make a budget. Now listen, we don't want you starting the year off broke. Yes. So joining us now is financial expert Patrice Washington with a summer budget yes. slimmed down, yeah. getting ready for the holidays. Because it's coming. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Your tree at home does not look like this with all this money on no, it. No, it doesn't. Right? But Mine this is the not. representation yes. of how much money you Mine spend. Mine has coins on it. <laughs> what is it about Christmas, though, and the holidays that have us just breaking the bank over and over and over again? Well, first of all, it's the marketing. Right, so ads are following us all around, telling us to buy, buy, buy. And what it really does is trigger the emotion in us because mm -hmm. when we feel guilty that we haven't talked to people or we want to prove that I love you, we think, okay, I need to buy them a gift, even when I don't really like them. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know what? It's too easy these days, right? It's just a yeah. click and it's there. But you say start off with a budget. It's not too early to start off with a budget. Now, I know people hate the word budget. So even if we have to call it your holiday spending plan, whatever it takes, the thing is, you need to have an idea of how much you're going to spend for Christmas now. Mm. Like, it starts right now. So I say, go back to last year's bank statements or your, your bank app, whatever you have to do, and look at all the things you've spent on. Was it wrapping paper? Was it extra food? Is it travel? What are those things that you're buying? Tally it all up, and then look at the number of weeks left until Christmas mm -hmm. or even the number of paychecks oh. so that now you don't have to blow a whole paycheck in December. You can chip away at it a little at a time starting today. And then they say kind of set a bubble around the budget. You want to protect this An thing. emotional bubble because That's it's key. not right. It's not logical. It's the emotion that gets us caught up. Mm -hmm. We know we don't have the money, but we try to make it happen Let anyway. Let me go get a new credit yeah. card. <laughs> right. So How the emotional bubble. How do we prepare bubble. for all of this? Well, one thing that you can do is start to slash your summer spending right now. So I know we're already a bit through the summer. I don't know about you guys, but as a mom, I had to find ways to entertain my daughter oh, yeah. mm -hmm. during the summer, and that adds up. So I start to look for free ways or low-cost ways to entertain her. If you go to your city's website, they usually have, like, Parks and Rec. They have Screen on the Green. The mm -hmm. libraries have movie screenings and arts and crafts, and all of that is free to people in the neighborhood. We just don't know. So how do you start to slash whatever you're spending during the summer? And another thing is, look at the hard cost. We don't check in enough with our utilities, uh, with our cable bills, oh yeah. with our cell phone bills, and we don't pay attention to the fact that it slowly increases mm -hmm. over time. But if you go back and renegotiate, you can cut that down, put that towards Christmas. Because yeah, I think I probably download, if I'm going to be honest, I probably download an app a week just to try it. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, they, those things cost. And it, that it sneaks up. up on you. Yeah. Absolutely. So you want to look at the hard cost. And then if that doesn't work, if you're like, okay, I've cut all the expenses, I believe that we're each born with a gift, a talent, a skill, something that we should be using to make more money. I like this. Work, people. <laughs> Work. Find an extra job. I mean, job. you may need a holiday job. Yeah. You want to get a side hustle? There's so many apps. Like yeah. you were saying, Scott, the there's so economy. many apps. It's the gig economy, right? So let's say you're great at administrative assisting. There's sites like Elance or Odesk, or you can put your services on Fiverr. You can drive uh, Uber or Lyft. Or There's so many opportunities. You don't have to just let this take over you. Yeah. Like, you can prepare ahead of time and use what you're good at anyway. And you can start saving small do you have a number that you like to do that each month I try to put away this amount or this percentage of your paycheck well I think that people don't recognize that it is about starting small so they feel like if I can't do a bunch of money it's not worth it no $25 yeah. a paycheck really can add up because you're spending lots of money at the end of the year that you don't account for and like we said we don't want you to start out the year broke Again, again, you don't want to you want to end up you don't want to start out how you want to end up, right? Like you want to start out with money so you can end the year with money with some money. Yeah, Patrice is telling you how it's <laughs> done. You better get it done. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now.